going on? Welcome to the Obsession. Uh, this is the weekly hunt update. Uh, this is obviously Wednesday show. We're going to show you guys this stuff. Here's what I got some stuff coming at you. I had an experience with one of my bigger bucks on my birthday, October 23rd. We're going to show you guys that hunt and see what happens there. Also, uh, my nephew's son, Zach, uh, goes out with his grandpa, my brother-in-law, uh, Tom, and we go on Tom's land, and Zach gets an opportunity because he shot a buck last year that came back CWD positive, he got an extra buck tag for this year. So we're going to show you both of Zach's hunts, uh, both bucks that he takes with his vertical bow. And these are the first bucks he's taken ever with a vertical bow. So he's 14 years old and uh, he does some of his own filming. And then Grandpa filmed him a little bit too and helped out on the hunt. Obviously you guys are going to see that. But uh, we appreciate you guys watching the obsession. Uh, like I said, we'll show the stuff weekly on how the hunts are going. I've got a bunch of footage I'm going to throw in there with my hunt about what happened after the 23rd and show you guys some of the deer I've been seeing on the property. Uh, things ramping up really good here pre-rut. Uh, currently, like I said, this is the 29th. Uh, we got a warm front coming in. Lots of wind, lots of heat. Hence why I am sitting here editing this stuff up for you guys. Um, <clears throat> big winds. Lots of rain coming. Uh, all going to rain all day tomorrow on Wednesday. Uh, I think on Thursday will be pretty good as the front has passed through. They are saying in the morning we're going to get some wind and some rain yet on Thursday morning. Hopefully that's uh, passed through further, faster than we what they say it's going to happen, but we'll see. Uh, big temperature drop on the back side of that and the wind's dying down. It's going to be a pretty big deal. I get to take my son november 1st hunt with me on the triple b i'm excited about that so you guys watch for those hunts coming up uh and next wednesday show we'll show what we had happen this week so like i said we always appreciate you guys watching also be sure to check out the uh, obsession podcast every saturdays on the youtube channel or you guys can listen to it at rss.com spotify google apple iheart and amazon uh main outlets for the podcast uh, we are ramping the podcasts in as fast as we can. So, you know, I, I got a couple complaints from you guys that they're like a week or two behind. And that is correct. They are a week or two behind uh, just because of how it lays out and the way you have to update and publish stuff. Uh, probably a little more on my side of things, but we're in the process of getting that faster also. Uh, doing it all yourself is a lot of work. <laughs> so, But we appreciate you guys watching. Check out these hunts. Make sure you leave a comment. Hunter's first bucks with a vertical bow. We appreciate it. Something new today, Later. everybody. So we got these little carbon arms. I actually mounted to my uh, tree stand here. And I got my big camera running that. Tack the cam on the bow. I got one of my best friends, Bob Top, hunting with me. I put him down in Mom's blind down there. There are four scrapes from his west to his east. Um, deer should walk right in front of him if he comes through there. So, um, Got some good bucks on the property. I'm looking for one of, a, one of what I call the big four. 911 Captain Hook. An eight pointer, four year old, I call homie. And there's, well, there's a couple other ones that are in and out, but uh, with Captain Hook, there's also a buck I call Challenger. Uh, Challenger is a great big, he's an eight this year, he was a nine last year. Mike had an experience with him, and so did I, after I was tagged out. So, last time I hunted out here, I sat down at Dad's plot. I had six antlerless deer come by me, and they went across right straight underneath here to the water hole. Did pull the chip batteries are low or dead in that camera so I will have to change them here next time I come hunt um, not so great there but uh, we'll see what we get on that hopefully we get some pictures because I did change it about two weeks ago <clears throat> now I'm sitting in what I call the shocker water hole um, it's above this coulee it runs north south of my property 70 to 80 yards away from a, a dad's uh, food plot. So we're catching those deer in transition uh, from bed to food, or transition from bed to food 
from the east. Um, but that being said, I actually have a north northwest in here. Uh, it's taken my set kind of up the ridge at a little bit of an angle. Uh, Mike and I created the bedding area up above here, so we shall see what happens. Stick around. Hopefully, one of the big four shows up. If they do, great. If they don't, we'll hunt another day. We got uh, two weeks of rutcation starting on Friday. So, oh, and today's my birthday. So it'd be kind of nice to shoot a birthday buck. Or for Bob to shoot a birthday buck. Stick around. We'll see what happens.
finish on the shot. sneak out of here quick. Get everything packed up. It was a hell of a birthday. <laughs> Just didn't work out. Thanks for watching the obsession. Hey, what's up everybody, Sackman here, here again. We just hunted pretty close to here yesterday. We are in that corner walnut stand tonight. The stand I was just hunting in is just down here to the left, about 50 yards. We've got a, a nice walnut. You've seen the corner one. We also had a nice screen about 20 yards. We've got a nice 20 yard shot there. <coughs> We did get a, um, a trail moved out over here. You might not be able to see it when I go to footage, but there's deer coming behind this uh, big cornfield over here. <coughs> That's the uh, shortest way to get to the food plot in front of us. So. We have been seeing deer here lately on our trail campus during daylight hours. Brett is actually coming up very soon. It's just a Ah, crap, I shot him. Yes, you did. I might have shot him. It looks like I kind of did. Alright, I uh, just shot that little buck. Didn't seem like to be a great shot. My bowling must have hit the rail of this branch that's here. Might have hit the back end of the lung, the liver, or one of the arteries. We'll just have to find out and see. We're gonna go back to the house, get some dinner, and then in like an hour we'll go look for him. I'll show you some footage of it. We are looking for the deer now. It hasn't been an hour, but we're gonna do a little bit of tracking now, and if we don't see him, we're gonna head back to the house and wait a few hours, like an hour or two. So, my grandpa is here today. Hot mom, he may track this deer. We haven't. You see it, I said? No. Let's keep walking and see if we find it. You want to keep walking? Yes. You might see it anymore. Okay, we're gonna probably stop. Alright, so 
This was the last blood we found uh, before we This left. was the uh, last place we saw the deer before we left. Just right over there in that brush pile. That was the last place we saw the deer. He was still alive. He tried to run when we came over, but he couldn't. We will uh, check over there to see if he's dead or if he's still alive. How long ago was that? That was about an hour and a half ago. Okay. So you're going to go look for him now then, Zach? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and look. I'll follow you. Okay. Go slow in case he's still alive. I found him. Already? Yeah, he wasn't far. So he just stayed where we saw him last, huh? Yeah. Can you walk in a little farther there so we can see him, or is it too thick to go yeah, this way? Alright. So the deer is just over there. You can see his antlers in his body. Let's head over. The deer did try and run away when we last came over here. He couldn't, so this is lucky that he did. I thought that was a pretty bad shot. He hit right there. Where's the arrow? A little bit high and back. Yeah, but the arrow should be laying around here somewhere. We right didn't find here. it on the trail. So I'm not sure if you guys can uh, see, but the arrow is right by this ne little tree that he's bedded next to. Okay. Yeah. Partially under him. Yeah. Sticking out. All right. Yeah. You can hold my light. Nice little buck, Zach. Yeah, he's a small. Here, come here. Nice one he's for you. Got some like leaf stuff in his antlers. Oh, that's from rubbing his antlers on trees. Yeah, most likely. Making rubs. Yeah, most likely. Let's see you in the camera. A, I thought it was an eight pointer. He's a seven pointer because he has no brow tie on this side. Okay. Either broke it off or something. Hold it, hold him up, Zach, so we can see him. Yeah, I got it. Let me just get better. Nice little deer. So, we have the ATV up further up the hill, so we're going to drive that down here and help us get it out. I hope you guys uh, liked seeing the hunts that I got through the past few weeks. The uh, only deer we saw tonight that came close enough. We did see uh, six other deer after shooting hours out in the, the giant dirt field that was behind us too. The, uh, the buck on our video it looked like he ducked when I shot my arrow, so that's why I hit uh, a little bit high. So, he went about 150 yards, redded here, he came back an hour later, and he was dead. So, I hope you guys, um, like watching my hunts for the past few weeks. We're gonna get the ATV and help uh, drag this out. Thanks for watching the obsession, and I'll see you in the next.
literally just uh, saw the deer I shot. Fortunately, wasn't able to get the shot on camera. The camera stopped for some reason. But the deer, I think, went about 100 yards. Fell over dead. He's a nice deer. You can come. You want to come closer? You why don't can. you hold up his head, Zach? Yeah, here. Let me put this down. <clears throat> He's a nice big deer. He's heavy. Yeah, he, he is heavy. We got pictures of him on trail cameras. Yeah. So what happened basically was, here I can get my arrow. Took about a 20, 15 yard -ish shot. The arrow was stuck in him, broke off, and he just came running down here. So it didn't pass all the way through. It actually, did, no, it did not pass all the way through. It went stuck in him. He bled a lot. We saw a lot of blood over there in that corn. How long were you watching him before you got to take a shot, Zach? I think it was about two-ish minutes. We saw him big out in that dirt field by our stand. He came... I didn't even know he was here until you told me that he, uh, he was here. He said... He said he was watching us. I did not move. I did not see him for a while. But I saw him. He just started running down the dirt field coming over. And then where did he go? Did he come right to you? He did not come right to us. We were thinking he was going to head to that uh, scrape that we made, made over by that little... 20 yards in front of us? Yeah, we thought he was going to head there. He actually didn't. He went feeding into the corn. I thought he wasn't going to come in. But then you did some grunting. He, came, he heard that he came over heading towards the cornfield that's over here. I just waited for him to stop. You didn't even need to wait, a grunt at him to stop. I just waited until he stopped and shot him. I was just about to make a noise to get him to stop and he stopped on his own to check out a little scrape spot. That Yeah, is... we did make a little box scrape by where he was going to stand. So. I'm not surprised he stopped. So. Not a uh, shot high, but he bled a lot, most likely a long shot, so. Why don't you uh, hold his head up again for him? Yeah, I got you. Uh, cool. Looks like eight points. He, oh, trying to be a, to be a 10. Yeah, he's got some uh, stickers on this. He's, he's got a sticker on, his, on the right G2. On the right G2 on and his main beam. Main beam, he's got almost starting a G4. Yeah. Nice big eight point deer. I'm missing. I bet Carl's going to be impressed when he sees this. So that was your last uh, bow buck tag for the year. Yeah, that was my last bow archery tag. Unless so. your seven pointer comes back positive for CWD, then you have one. I hope not. He was also a pretty good deer. Yeah. This is even bigger. Congratulations, Zach. I'm going to shut the video last off and take a few still photos. Last archery All right. buck. Carl and Mike are sure going to be impressed. You think so? Yeah. Mike's already got his buck. Big buck. Now I've got my big buck. I'm going to let you hunt a lot during the rest of the run. Because I'm probably not going to be hunting until after the run. Yeah. Because you've got some doe tags to fill. But we can fill them anytime. Even late season. Yeah. We can fill those late season. And especially. We've also got us uh, filled them during this season. During the rifle season. I actually do have a uh, rifle buck tag. Yep. Oops. Very nice job. Yeah. After you were... Uh,